There are two bits to this. Uh, let, let me just try and divide them. First of all, will it, 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 it's so eye-catchingly expensive. I mean, there's no question, 400 pounds, which doesn't have to be repaid to every household in the country. Doesn't matter what your income level is. Everybody is going to get that. And there'll be more for, um, you know, more for universal credit, more, more for people on, who, aren't, who aren't as rich as that. So it is extremely expensive. Now, question number one, will it actually bring inflation down? Well, technically, it may well do. So we may be not looking at that dreaded double digit inflation. In, in the near future, it may be closer to nine and a half percent. But the big thing that, that, that this, that the U turn here is the windfall tax. Now, if I may just put you right, Anne, it's not the energy companies. It's actually, first of all, the oil and gas producers, those people who actually go to places that we would not like to go to, particularly, particularly in the North Sea. And they're going to be, they're going to be charged 25% extra, um, on, on, on their profits in BP, Shell and, and other producers from, from the North Sea. Now, it may be, and that, that's just going to give about five billion pounds. It may be that the electricity generators, i.e. the people who turn this fuel into energy and, and thus electricity, are going to be charged as well, because obviously with the high prices, they've had a windfall of profit too. And that could release another three billion pounds. Now, that really is annoying a lot of the t uh, Tory backbenchers who say this is not a conservative thing to do. Well, unfortunately, they're not right about that because uh, in 1971, when interest rates were so high, you don't even want to know, um, Geoffrey Howe was a conservative chancellor and he actually put um, a windfall tax on, on banks. So it has been done, as it were, from the conservatives before. But that's, that's the controversy. And I'll add to that this from the um, Institute of Fiscal Studies. They're wondering whether or not not. If this doesn't do the trick, they may have to do this again, either in the autumn or, or next year, and then it starts to get eye-wateringly expensive. So when you when you say do it again, though, Michael, are you talking about another windfall tax? Because where's where's he going to get the money for this? Another, he, he... another attempt, another attempt to put a sticking plaster on the cost of living crisis, um, may, maybe later in the year. That's what, that's what the IFS is saying. So that they've actually said, you know, this may help, it may not. I mean, the question also is, if you're getting a load more money in your back pocket, as it were, will you go and spend it? Uh, will, will that add to inflation? And and in addition to that, um, I know you don't want any more bad news, but we might as well do it all. The fact is that lots of workers, particularly in the United States, are looking at a very, very tight labor market and they're feeling quite emboldened to go to their employers and say, I want to be paid more because I'm talented and you can't you can't replace me. And I think that is probably going to be spreading to the UK fairly soon. Already, some UK employers are saying we're going to pay our workers more because it's actually cheaper to pay them more than to recruit new people and train them and get them into their jobs. So you can see all these inflationary pressures, which we hadn't even thought about um, you know, before Christmas, uh, and are now being brought to bear on what is, unfortunately, a very small economy.